Stop doing this to your acoustic guitar. <laughs> okay, okay, Sumner, that's actually funny. Stop doing this to your acoustic guitar because you think this is what the big time mixers do. Next on Music Surgery, with me, Dr. Bob. Hey you guys, quickly before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. And don't forget to check out the Doctor's Lounge, my store, and the links to some great samples below in the description of this video. Acoustic guitar is a staple in music and has been for years. Rock, pop, country, singer, songwriter, you name it. It's a beautiful instrument, but it can be a nightmare if you're not careful with it. Watch this. This is the microphone setup we use for the session I'm about to play you. Two Warm Audio WA-84s, one back behind the sound hole, because right at the sound hole tends to get too boomy. And the other aimed where the guitar and the neck of the guitar meet, both mics being about six or seven inches from the guitar. The mic pre-used was a Neve Universal Audio Unison plug-in for the UA Apollo. The only EQ used was a shelf roll-off at around 100 hertz and below. No compression was used recording. Jason's hair gel was by Sexy Hair and was applied meticulously for this desired look. All right, you guys, let me play this for you, get your ears acclimated, and we'll talk about it. Okay, there we have some beautifully played acoustic guitars by Jason Roller. And what we have is, as I said, we've mic'd the body and the neck. So, and we've spread each guitar left, right. So let me just play you. Here are just the bodies. And here are just the neck position mics. So the big misnomer with acoustic guitars is compression. I haven't even used an 1176 on these, which is the go-to thing to smash acoustic guitars. The more you smash an acoustic guitar, the uglier it gets. It brings up the room it was recorded in, and it brings up the bottom end. Let me just show you. This is how much I'm compressing. Barely, it's barely even indicating on the attenuation here. Now, let me show you what happens when I start to really slam it. Hear all that ugly low mid-range? Let me put this back and let's do what everyone seems to like to do with 1176. 1176, mono, let's just go to an acoustic guitar, blacky, acoustic guitar, here we go. Artificial pumping, I'm losing transients, 
going to town on these kind of guitars ruins the instrument. Now, let me put these back to where they were. Less is so much more on this kind of thing. Put this back over and we should be back to where we were. So, even in a dense track, I don't have to really compress more than that. I can a touch more to see if I can get some some brightness, but even in a dense track, EQ is going to do a lot more for your acoustic guitar because if you're slamming it to get it over a dense track, you're bringing up the room and you're bringing up all that ugly mid-range. Then you've got to cut the mid-range out. So what are you gaining? It it's really can be a very messy instrument. So, what I've done is I've just put these in a group and added some slight things in the group here. Let me turn the group off. Even without what I've done in the group channel that our acoustics on. It sounds fantastic. Now, it's a very even guitar part and played with a medium pick or a light pick. So you've really got to make sure your guitar player is playing evenly and not killing the instrument. Now, here we have a double mic'd acoustic setup. I could easily do just one acoustic. which sounds fantastic. But I wanted to show you the double mic technique because in some tracks that are very open, um, that don't have much instrumentation, it's nice to spread the neck and the body to the sides of the mix like one big acoustic guitar. Now in a, uh, a, a more dense track, I would only mic the acoustic once on the 12th fret and if I wanted acoustic on both sides, I would record that and then double, record a double part on the other side. But for now, we have these. So the first thing I did was put a little saturation, channel saturation, and that the difference between before and after, here's before. just seems to tighten it up and give it a little more interesting uh, harmonic information. Um, these are just three different channels, Spike Stent, um, Nevo, and Mike, I uh, can't remember who. This is the uh, Waves channel. So next thing, just some de to just um, get a little bit of the pick noise and scrape noise down. And what I do on a de-esser with an acoustic is I'll hit sidechain here and that will just allow me to hear what this is doing. And I can sweep the frequency here, which I already have. Next in line, a little bit of spread to the sides, a little left and right. Just pushes them out to the sides, just a touch more. Now, in Ozone 10, this is really interesting. A lot of people use it to put on mixes, but it's called the stabilizer. And what it does 
is it's got a bunch of machine learning um, genres here that they've put into this. And what it will do, it will manage the low and the mid and the high range, uh, the upper range of your frequency spectrum to what all of this learning says is the best way that it should sound. So I can control my low, mid, and high here, the amount here, how smooth that these changes will be made, the speed in which they'll be made, and then I can tame the transients. So here's before. It's interesting these acoustics are so beautiful they could they actually needed a little here in the 600 to 1k region which I think this is I think it's properly diagnosed this for a folky type sound It's a very, very useful tool on many things. Final mix, um, group things, really cool feature in Ozo 10. And the last thing, a little bit of Soothe to do a little more taming of some things. Here's what Soothe is doing by itself. Just some scrapey things, not working very hard. Um, you'll see it attenuate here. Now I could bring this over to have it catch a little more of the low end here, uh, or low end, around 500 hertz to 1K. And the next thing I'm adding is a little bit of the Little Micro Shift by Sound Toys, which is some very nice light chorusing. Let me exaggerate it so you can hear what that's doing. Almost gives it a 12 stringy kind of thing because of the chorusing. Now, also, you need to note that in the return channel of that, I'm dipping out low end and top end because I don't want to get, I don't want the chorusing to be too bright or too much on the bottom, much like I would do with the reverb. And the last thing, some plate. which on the plate, I'm also doing the same thing. Don't want it too shimmery in the verb or too much low end. I'm doing a little bit of final EQ on the group, a touch of air here and rolling off a little bit here. But if I turn all these inserts off and the EQ, There's no, e this EQ is bypassed, and all I'm using is a little bit of compression on each channel. Barely tapping it, barely.
which in some ways could sound even better than what I put on the group. Um, it's obviously apples to oranges, but let me turn the group back on. All that to say, acoustic is beautiful on its own. Light taming with compression, maybe roll off some low end um, down by the sound hole if you've got dual mics or even if you use one mic, get rid of those low frequencies like you would an amp or a bass or a, a kick drum, all, all, different EQ points, but lots of vocal, every. Everything in a mix, there's points down there low that you don't want, that shouldn't be heard, that can take up space in a mix and make a compressor react, even if you're not hearing the frequency. So, go easy on your acoustics. Get a great player that plays evenly with a light to medium pick. Get the part great, and that's going to carry you all the way. You don't need to slam it with a compressor. So there you go. Make sure your guitarist is playing as evenly as possible. Try a light pick. One or two mics, either is fine. And don't overdo the compression. Sometimes less is more. And with acoustic guitar, less is more. Thanks as always for watching. Give me some comment love and a thumbs up below. And hit me at drbobmusicsurgery at gmail.com if you want to say hello or you want me to work on your music. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you... The next time the doctor's in.